you know, I think that would be extremely positive if we thought the AI could contribute to humans getting along with each other. I believe that it will surprise us on the upside there. The technology will surprise us with how much it can do. We've got to find out and see, but I'm very optimistic and I agree with you. What a contribution would that be? Discover the insights behind the development of GPT-5 and its implications for artificial general intelligence through a revealing interview of OpenAI CEO Sam Altman with Bill Gates. Watch on to explore the key takeaways from this rare conversation. During an interview, Altman discussed the progress and popularity of AI technologies, particularly in the field of natural language processing. He praised the success of OpenAI's ChatGPT, an AI-powered chatbot that has gained millions of users and generated billions of conversations since launching. However, Altman also acknowledges the limitations and challenges that AI still faces, including reliability, reasoning, and creativity. What can we expect AI to do this year that it couldn't do last year? There are all these things that we can have, and I'd love to talk about sort of all the specifics, but the, the general principle, I think the thing that matters most is just that it gets smarter. So GPT-2 couldn't do very much. GPT-3 could do more. GPT-4 could do a lot more. GPT-5 will be able to do a lot, lot more. And the thing that matters most is not that it can, you know, have this new modality or it can solve this new problem. It is the generalized intelligence keeps increasing. Additionally, Altman hinted at upcoming milestone and breakthroughs, including the release of GPT-5 in the near future and the creation of AGI, a system that can perform any intellectual task that a human can very soon. GPT-5 is an upcoming AI-powered technology that has generated a lot of excitement and anticipation due to its ability to process and understand multiple forms of input and output. This includes text, images, audio, and video, a feature known as multimodality in AI. With this capability, machines will be able to interpret the world in a more intuitive and human-like way, making technology more accessible and efficient for everyone. According to Altman, a leading expert in AI, multimodality in AI has the potential to revolutionize various fields and domains. For instance, in education, AI could tailor learning experiences to each student's preferred input method. This could involve a student drawing a diagram of a cell and the AI providing feedback and explanation in text or voice. In healthcare, AI could provide diagnosis from medical imagery and textual patient histories. For example, a doctor could upload an x-ray image of a patient's chest, and the AI could generate a report with the diagnosis and treatment recommendations. Moreover, Altman emphasized that GPT-5 will offer an unprecedented level of personalization and customization in the tech world. This means that the AI will be able to learn and adapt to individual user preferences, behaviors, and contexts offering a personalized AI experience for everyone. For example, in personal assistance, AI could not only schedule meetings and appointments, but also know the user's preferences for meeting times, venues, and even coffee. Overall, GPT-5 has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with machines, making technology more accessible, efficient, and personalized for everyone. Altman's voice for the future of AI involves the integration of synthetic data and AI agents. Synthetic data refers to the artificially generated or manipulated data that can supplement and diversify the data available for AI training and testing. AI agents, on the other hand, are autonomous systems that can perform tasks and interact with other agents and the environment. Altman believes that synthetic data and AI agents are essential for overcoming the limitations and challenges that AI faces. One such challenge is data scarcity, where AI models often suffer from the lack of data, particularly for rare or niche domains and tasks. Synthetic data can help augment and diversify the data available for AI training and testing, improving the quality and coverage of the AI outputs. Another limitation in data bias where AI models offer reflect biases and prejudices that exist in the data, resulting in unfair and harmful outcomes for certain groups of people. Synthetic data can help mitigate and correct this bias, ensuring that AI outputs are more balanced and representative of the diversity of the real world. Data privacy is also a concern, as AI models often require access to sensitive and personal data, which can pose risks to the privacy and security of the data owners. Synthetic data can help protect that data, ensuring that AI outputs do not reveal or compromise the identity and information of the data owners. AI agents and robotics are also crucial for the future of AI interaction and application. They enable AI systems to perform more complex and dynamic tasks and interact with humans in the environment in more natural and meaningful ways. Allman provided examples of how AI agents and robotics could transform various fields and domains, such as manufacturing, healthcare, and entertainment. In manufacturing, AI agents and robots could automate and optimize productions and distributions, increase efficiency and quality. In entertainment, AI agents and robots could create and participate in immersive and interactive experiences, enhancing user enjoyment and engagement. 
During an interview, Altman, who is an expert on AI, discussed the ethical and societal implications of advanced AI technologies such as GPT-5 and AGI. What does 2024 Sam Altman know that 2023 Sam Altman didn't? I mean, a lot of things. Uh, look, when, when we decided to launch ChatGPT, we thought it was going to do well, but we had no idea how well it was going to do. And we thought the models just, we knew they were going to be great in the, eventually, but we didn't think they were good enough to, to resonate like ChatGPT and GPT-4 have. And so I think one piece of knowledge is that this technology, even with all of its current limitations, is far more useful than we thought and can integrate into our lives in a much more valuable way than we thought. And so now that we know that, as we think about launching the next much better models, um, we come with a different perspective. Altman expressed his hope that AI will be a force of good and the OpenAI mission is to ensure that AI is aligned with human values and goals while being accessible and inclusive to everyone. He urged the public to be more aware and engaged with AI to participate in shaping the future of AI, which he emphasized is not just a technical or scientific issue, but also a social and ethical one. Finally, Altman shared his vision and roadmap for achieving AGI, the ultimate goal of AI research. He said that AGI is not a single or static point, but rather a spectrum and a journey, and that there are different levels and stages of AGI, depending on the criteria and metrics used to measure and evaluate it. To achieve AGI, OpenAI aims to build a system that can learn from any data source and interact with humans and the environment through various modalities. This system will be capable of performing any intellectual task that a human can, and it will be able to understand and explain its actions and outputs. Moreover, the system will be able to self-improve and self-evolve, generate and pursue its own goals and interests, and exhibit human-like qualities such as creativity, curiosity, empathy, and humor. Altman's roadmap includes four main steps, which are not sequential but parallel and interdependent. The first step is to build GPT-5, an advanced generative AI model that can process and generate multiple forms of input and output, including text, images, audio, and video. The second step involves building ChatGPT-5, an AI-powered chatbot that can have natural and engaging conversations with humans and other AI agents across various topics and domains. The third step is to build Codex 5, an AI-powered code generator that can write and execute code for any programming language and task and collaborate and compete with human and AI programmers. Lastly, the fourth step is to build Dolly 5, an AI-powered image generator that can create and manipulate images for any concept and context and communicate and express itself through visual media. Altman expects OpenAI to complete these four steps by 2025, and by then, the system can be considered AGI, at least by some definitions and standards. In conclusion, the development of GPT-5 and the integration of synthetic data and AI agents hold immense potential for revolutionizing the field of artificial intelligence. With its ability to process and interpret multiple forms of input and output, GPT-5 can make technology more accessible, efficient, and personalized for everyone. And that's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed watching it and learned something new. If you did, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our future videos. We have more amazing videos coming up, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.